Introduction to LabVIEW, Part 8, Case Statements. We've seen case statements before. We use them with Booleans. We can do more with case statements other than just true and false. We can have case statements choose between different numbers even, or even different strings, different words. So what we're going to do is we're going to build a fortune-telling program. It's kind of going to work like the roll of a, the dice. It's going, we're going to choose a random number using the random number generator in the numeric palette, the little block that looks like dice. And we're going to multiply the random number that we get back that's between 0 and 1 by, let's say, 3 or 4. I'm going to control click and add cases after so that there will be more than just two choices, 0, 1. I can add a 2 and I can add a 3. Let's multiply it by 3 so that we have a case of 0, 1, 2, or 3. Four different things can happen. 0, 1, 2, or 3. We're going to wire this into the question mark on the case statement. And it's going to round the number for us. And each one of these cases is going to have a different message, a different fortune. So maybe you could have the first one be, you will have a long life. You will be rich. And let's put in some other fortunes for the last two. So there are four different things that can happen. Command U to clean up. And I'm going to change the string constant to an indicator so it'll show up on our front panel. We need to wire the fortunes to the indicator. Each one of them needs to be done. You'll know that it's done when the little box on the side becomes a solid color. Right now it's white because it's not all wired. It just became pink, so all the fortunes are wired into that box. So this case statement is going to let us choose between four different things that happen. Go ahead and save the program. Always save your work. And then run it. Each time you run it, you will get a different random number. It's going to be multiplied by 3 to make it a number between 0 and 3. And then the case statement will give you a different fortune depending on the random number. Your challenge is to make your own fortune-telling program using a case statement.